All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Clay Guida. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached a level of Conor McGregor and you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 18 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Clay, the Carpenter, we And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the... Oh! Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, straight right. Oh! Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. 
Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. That right hand hurt him a little bit. A little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Wow, huge head kick. Ooh. An uppercut landed. Oh. Just a slip there. Oh, strong punch there by Guido. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Nice one-two there. Oh, effective strike there by McGregor. All right, single collar tie now. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. He throws the right hand there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, right, then a left. Nice straight punch. Takedown defense holds up. One minute to go here in the opening round. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Nice punch there by Guida. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended, as oh. you would expect him to. Final seconds, round one. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of it. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that.
Here we are, early round two. Nice kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. Oh! McGregor's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage. And... Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Herb All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.